What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna uh, we're gonna go over fixing the gas tank. So let me show you. Well, we'll walk around the car, show you where it's leaking. This one's a little different because you can't drop the gas tank out of the car. So let me show you what's going on, and we'll uh, get it in the shop. Here we are. So I'm trying to remember. I believe I built this a few years ago. I believe it is a 29 memory. My memory's not messing with me. But this was a full build. Built the frame all the way forward, four link, coil overs. Uh, we chopped the top. This top is actually not for this car. This top was off of the. Uh, Dodge, I believe it was a Dodge. That's why it has these fillers in here and some weird seams because it took some weird stuff to uh, make that happen. It has a 454 up front. You'll uh, piss off the neighbor pipes. We built the grill for it. Solid beam front. It does have rack and pinion to make it handle a little better. Kind of see what we got going on up here. Here's where the tank is leaking. So on these old, on these old guys, that, I can't reach it, but that is where you fill it. And from here up is your gas tank. And he tried some of that uh, gas tank fixer upper putty or JB Weld or something. But it's just that little hole right there. So the bad part about this is like a normal tank. Here's our, our pet cock coming out the bottom. The bad part about these is like with a normal tank, you can take it off, you can shake it up, you can get them cleaned out pretty good. This one, we can't do that. So we're going to drain it. We're going to fill it with water, drain it. We'll probably do that a couple times. And then we'll plug that hole blanket this with argon we'll uh i'll bring in a separate bottle we'll run a hose down into the gas cap and we'll let argon flow into there because you take the oxygen out of the air you can't have an explosion so that's kind of the overview of what we're going to do today while we're looking around may as well look in here this is a fun interior this is actually a really fun build Something else we might do while the car is here. You can see it has some issues with the door popping open. It has the old, uh, the old style latches in it, where it's just a catch. One of these guys. And these are kind of they're notorious for getting some wiggle in them and popping open. So. I remember right, yeah, right there. That box has the small bear claw latches in it. We'll probably toss those in while it's here. So let me get this guy off the trailer and uh, into the shop we'll get going on. That looks safe-ish, right? Right? <laughs> Good old, good old leaks. Okay, I got back to the shop. I'll show you what we got here. It's just a argon bottle. And we're flowing, I don't know, yeah, probably that way, like 25 CFM. And all I did, I was gonna plug that, but argon is heavier than air, so. We're putting argon right directly in the bottom of the tank and we're going to let that fill up and evacuate all the air out the top. I have it partially covered so it'll hold it in there a little better. It'll evacuate all the oxygen fumes and everything else because when it comes to gas, your fumes are going to be what's explosive. So that's what you need to take care of. If this was a smaller tank, we could just... Uh, you could put a steam cleaner in it if it was a smaller tank. Well, if it was a smaller tank, we could really shake it up and get it pretty clean. 
but we could also put a steam cleaner in it. What that would do is the steam uh, does some science stuff. I can't remember exactly, but the water vapor that is created by the steam attaches itself to the gas vapor and brings it down so you can drain it out. It really helps clean up the tank really nice, but that's just, we got too much. We got too much here for that to be real effective. So this is going to be our best method. Uh, this hole, I know, I know why this hole's there. It's not from rust. This tank's actually pretty clean inside. There used to be uh, belt fed 50 cal shells that wrapped over the, over this cow and all these spots are where it was tack welded on. And when he pulled those off, it just pulled a little metal out with it right there. So we know that this isn't a rust hole, which is going to make it a lot easier. Uh, we're going to try and tick it. Uh, you could use a wire feed. It'd be faster, easier. I just trust that the TIG weld is going to seal that a little better than a MIG. So we're going to let this flow for a minute. We're going to let that fully fill up with argon. And then I'll do a flame test. I'll take some fire right over the top of that and see if it pops. Let's make sure that we've killed all the oxygen and we're not going to start. Well, we're not going to blow ourselves to bits. I have, well, let me spin this around so we can go over the nasty bits. All right, guys, now for the serious part of this. Welding a gas tank is going to be the most dangerous thing you can do on a car. You need to make sure that you take every step seriously. Don't take any shortcuts. Make sure you prep it right. Once you can do it and you feel comfortable with it, it's, it's obviously a very valuable tool to add to your arsenal. Uh, by no means is this educational, I guess. I mean, I'm, take, take it as pointers, I guess, is what I'm, what, that's what I'm trying to say here. Because uh, I'm not gonna be responsible for your safety. You need to be responsible for your own. Uh, case in point, I had a buddy, he owns a race shop. Uh, he'd been building cars for most of his life. And about six, six, eight months ago, something like that, maybe a year ago, he went to cut parts off of a car to, for a race car that he was building. The car had been sitting for probably 15 years, nicked it with a plasma cutter, exploded. And uh, he spent months in the ICU in the burn unit and it's terrible, it's horrible. You don't ever wanna do that. Uh, it's not so much that gas is flammable, it's more the explosive part that's gonna come and bite you in the ass. So take your time, do it right. Take every precaution that you can. It can be done, it's not, it's not uh, anything extremely hard to do, but every step is vitally important. So uh, I'm gonna let this purge for probably another 20 minutes just because I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to fill that area with argon. So I'm gonna give it more than enough time to make sure that it has enough in there. We'll flame test it. I'll take a uh, torch. We'll go over the top of it. We'll see if we're getting any fire out of it before I touch it with a welder. And uh, I'll probably have a small panic attack the whole time I'm doing it because I've probably done 30 different tanks and I still get nervous every time I do one. So, so take your time, make sure you do it right. Don't skip any steps and uh, be safe if you're going to do this yourself. All right, there we go. Moment of truth. And we're good. So fire up the TIG and uh, fill a hole, plug a hole.
lot of work for that much welding. All that prep for that much welding. <laughs> but such is the life of a car guy. So, um, I think we'll do the bear claws a different time. We won't put that on this one. We'll try and keep everything split up. And uh, we'll just call this a short video. So, a little more of some of this guy. And you'll see it back in here one more time. So, till next time, like and subscribe. We'll see you all later.